Weapon adjustments. Please note that additional weapon adjustments will be going live in Season 1 Reloaded Update. That's going to be happening January 17th. That's when we're going to be getting the nukes added to the game. Big change. Sniper rifle. MTZ interceptor. <laughs> Max damage reduced to 85, down from 95. Minimum damage reduced to 78, down from 84. And they already reduced the headshot multiplier from 2 to 1.5 on this gun in their previous nerf for it. So this is the main difference of what they changed here. Now you need to land two headshots and one body shot in order to get a three tap. Honestly, I think this is still going to be insanely powerful. Season one patch notes, guys. This is actually a kind of a surprise patch that they've put out for us because of the MTC Interceptor in particular. Last week, they even told us they were going to do this. It's completely broken. The game, similar to the old school for Dance Gores on DMR tap meta it's uh it's returned very strong and they've already nerfed this and it's still strong prepare for an incredible season one bringing a massive drop of content including five free weapons this is just the basic overview right zombies all the fluff they like to fluff us up before they give us the the juice the following patch notes pertain primi primarily to global changes made for call of duty Modern Warfare three titles and those made exclusively to Warzone. For an overview of changes unique to either multiplayer or zombies, visit here. Fix an issue preventing CDL team bundles from unlocking properly when purchased from the store. Fix an issue causing event progress to not track properly. Fix an issue causing the event progress to not track. Fix an issue preventing emblems from not being awarded properly for prestige progress. Fix an issue where the soap operator doesn't appropriately show in the menus. All right, who cares? Snake shot. This attachment will be re-enabled with the scheduled playlist update 10 a.m pacific damage per bullet at max range reduced to 12 down from 34 i mean i have no idea what that's even going to lead to now because shotguns is individual pellets that shoot out when you shoot it as well and i don't even know how many pellets are in the actual shot of the, the problem when you go akimbo is you have so many yeah, pellets that all go out at the same work. time that you can one tap people from crazy far if the if it stays dense enough you know what i mean Fixed more collision issues with various elements across Urzikstan. Oh, please, dude. Did you guys see the one I posted yesterday? I retweeted out. Did you guys see this, though? Okay, Doc, you ready? Here we yeah. go. Ready, just guys? sit down. Just sit down. Go. Go. Is it going to work? <laughs> <laughs> no, there is no way. <laughs> Yo, you gotta fly. Um, fly over oh, here. Oh, you got to no. fly immediately. No, you need to fly no. <laughs> Fly into the water right where Into I the am. water. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> too much There's about no this. <laughs> way this thing you is know in the game. Too much about this, buddy. Dude, I just watched the f YouTube guide. So you basically zip down and. So watch. You zip, instantly pull your chute. Instantly pull your chute. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> here's a step by step guide. And then it brings you into the water, and then you swim up to the surface. And it's that wow. simple, Timothy. Can you get out of it, I'm though, or are you stuck? I think I just, I think, are you I, I, guys, I think I'm too fat to be under there. I'm going to be honest. I think <laughs> it's pushing me out. <laughs> it's... <laughs> yeah, teamwork, make a dream work. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> no. Land oh. it, Timmy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Car doc can help me get out. Hey, let me get you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fix an issue allowing players to duplicate loadout drop markers. Fix an issue causing the dead silence icon to un unintendedly appear in the kill cam. Fix an issue allowing players to exploit the cash deposit and plunder. Oh, no. Fix an issue allowing players to duplicate items in the backpack menu. Fix an issue causing players to get... St oh, you know what? I wonder if this is... There's a bug. If I ever pick up a sc the scanner grenade, I forget what it's called... It duplicates my smoke. It lets me have infinite smoke grenades. That's been in the game since Warzone 2. I wonder if they fixed that. That might have been associated with this, too. We'll see if we can pull that off. Fix an issue causing players to get stuck in the gulag. This was breaking a lot of end games. I'd seen that. Fix an issue causing after, after action report to end abruptly. Fix an issue causing the attachments to not appear correctly when equipped on certain weapons. Fix an issue preventing the dual commas unlock challenge from tracking properly. Fix an issue causing players to be sent back to the front menu while navigating attachments. All right, there you go. Season one reloaded. We've been waiting for this, especially for the nuke. The Call of Duty Warzone overview. 
Attempt the Champion's Quest. Achieve the Champion's Quest dominated by completing a brand new quest for Urzikstan. I wonder if it's even going to be different from the five-game win streak to get it. Uh, we'll see. Attempt this multi-part challenge to investigate a devastating endgame. Of course, we blow up the entire map. It's one of the best things that you could possibly do. Gulag Night Vision public event as well. We were waiting for this. I saw this at the COD Next event, and we have not seen it added to the game since. We've seen the cash mode where you just get a ton of cash in the Gulag or go again, but this is going to make it so you have NVGs in the Gulag. Very cool, actually. I did get to play this once and did have a clip of that from the COD Next event early gameplay. Grab the weapons case. They teased this, and I had no idea how they would actually implement it, but a new weapons case objective is available for the first time in Battle Royale. Players can now battle over a single weapons case hidden in, in a search area at the start of every match to spice up the early game. Interesting. This has been one very lacking thing from the game. There is no central go to this spot at top of Caldera on the mountain, top of Zaya and Almazra, go to Superstore in Verdansk, whatever it is. There's not really that one go-to spot in this, although from their statistics, it looks like the middle of the map is still one of the most popular areas, but because there's no longer guaranteed strongholds, that was really one of the most guaranteed spots in Almazra, people would just send it to strongholds to do the black site. Black sites are so unvaluable, they're, they're not valuable in this game, that few people are doing that, and then strongholds are not guaranteed in every match anyways. This could stir things up where it's got a crazy hot drop off the front. But it doesn't look like there's anything else, too. I mean, they do cash drops in the game. They do loadout drops off the start of the game. Those can also lead to extra hot starts in certain areas. But this doesn't seem like it's an event. This seems like it's always going to be there. Players can now battle over a single weapons case hidden in a search area at the start of every match. Will bring a little bit more intensity to the early game. Make the rest of the lobby a little quieter as well. A new way to escape. Okay, they teased this too. I thought this might have been a zombies thing. Players can now exfil the match early with the help of a covert exfil, offering a new win condition for those able to pay the price for a ride out if you can secure it. There's a new way to win in Warzone. You no longer need to be the last player alive. You can exfil out of the match early. The question is, and I think it will, will it count for wins and for your win streak going for a nuke? If this is the new way to play the game, that you get enough cash in game and pay for an exfil yeah, early, make a dream work. that gives Tarkov vibes. But here it is, the Champion's Quest. Okay. The infamous Champion's Quest makes its debut in Urzikstan. Looks like this is going to be the skin. Kind of similar to the other gas mask skin that's blue. And look at the camo. Bright yellow and black. Wonder if it's going to be a moving one. Challenging players with a new high-risk level task that will test all your squad's collective skills in an attempt to witness an extremely explosive, explosive finale. The first step, win 30 games total within a season. Or five consecutive matches. Wait. We got a new way to get the new contract. 30 in a season. It doesn't have to be consecutive. Complete that and the next steps will fall into place. Only the most elite squads need apply. Well, there it is, man. My guess is the way the elements are going to work is going to be different. But the big thing they didn't note here that they've mentioned in the past, you can also steal nukes. But I think we're going to have a whole lot of new people going for nukes this time around. Obvious question, is it every 30 wins you get a contract? Or is it just once per season you get that? NVG Gulag, we've seen this. Everything's going to be at night when you're in there. Secure and win to return the match and leave. Awesome. Okay, gear up with the weapons case. This was something that they had back in DMZ for Almazra. They introduced this where you would get the case and exfil with it. Single weapons case spawns in a small search area at the start of every match. Once found, the player holding the weapons case is marked for all enemies in the match. That's how it worked in DMZ2, although the case would typically drop off of a boss, mainly a juggernaut or something. But then you're marked, so if a player is holding the case, manages to stay alive at the end of the match, or their squad exits the match using the helicopter called in by purchasing a covert exfil. So wait a second, you don't even, you could just go buy a covert exfil and win the, that... 
this better be like a hundred grand to buy a covert XFL. They and their teams earn exclusive rewards. That's kind of cool though, because now there is something else to go for in the game. And you can kind of mark yourself with this. That's how Fortnite works, for example. If you get a win and you go back into the game, you have a crown on your head. And every time the zone locks, your crown reveals your position. But if you can keep that crown and get a win with it, you get a win streak. And that's something you can publicly brag about. That's something you can work towards outside of just playing ranked or something. Now, it doesn't look like it's necessarily going to work like that, although I do think that could be interesting, in particular if you got a win while holding the weapons crate uh, case. That sounds pretty sick, because then it also takes up one of your slots and your position's revealed, so it makes it exponentially harder to get a win. But if you can just buy a covert exfil, that sounds nuts to me. I think win rates are about to go through the damn roof. Uh, we'll see how much it costs, though. Secondary win condition. Let's see. Speaking of covert exfils, players can now exfil the match early with the help of a covert exfil. With only five exfils available to purchase per match for a high price in buy stations before the gulag closes, a covert exfil calls in a chopper that can fly any player out of the match, ideally with the weapons case in their possession. Players can also compete to earn the most successful covert exfils with the new covert exfil leaderboard stat. What? That sounds even worse. Now there's going to be even more incentive for the covert, not even the weapons case. This is just for covert exfils. But I guess it's not off of a streak. And I guess I, I think this is going to be something that's more achievable for newbie players. I, I would assume, but maybe this is going to be even harder. General overview. Two new weapons are being added. A new submachine gun and LMG arrive, so you can bring the pain, whether you're up close or offering suppressive fire. New star offerings, hopefully something actually good. So I buy it, we'll see. The HRM9. Light yet stable 9mm. Close quarters, high fire rate, excellent handling mobility. I mean, all of these are like the exact same. Yeah, teamwork, ADS are work. precise fire, enter tax stance, yada yada. I just wait to play it and see how it actually feels. It's all fluff. They're just fluffing you up. Tack Evolvier? That, actually, I like the Tack Eradicator a lot. This might be fun. Multi-caliber, 7.62 or 5.56 with minimal adjustment. Versatile. All-new light machine gun. All right, well, we'll have to see. Oh, A-Train. There you go. Okay, that's going to be the boys' ad. And Firecracker. Was Firecracker from the boys, too? I guess so. I don't even remember her. Out of combat overview. CDL Intel drop. Prepare to watch the pros. Okay. 2024 pack. Saw an ad for that. Play Modern Warfare 3. I already did. All right, there it is. There's not much else then.